related. This morning, the FBI is investigating after two Smyrna police officers were hospitalized, allegedly poisoned for touching paperwork someone brought into the police station. Right now, this man is in custody. Little Stone is charged with aggravated assault upon a police officer. A Cobb County judge denied his bond, calling him a danger to the public. Our Cody Alcorn has a breakdown of how police say this all happened. On Tuesday afternoon, Little Stone is accused of walking into Smyrna Police Headquarters, where he requested the chief's business card, then asked officers to give the chief some paperwork. Stone handed the officers two pieces of paper, and then, within five minutes, both officers started experiencing respiratory distress and extreme fatigue. That definitely sounds like a, a respiratory pathogen. I asked Dr. Cecil Bennett about the symptoms. The warrant states the officers immediately started experiencing, including extreme fatigue, chest pain, chest tightness, dizziness, and difficulty breathing. So those will all be signs and symptoms of a respiratory poisoning. The FBI now testing the papers to find out what was on them. And Dr. Bennett pointed out. It necessarily doesn't have to be something nefarious. Explaining. A lot of us can walk into our local um, home improvement store and pick up products that lay us out on the floor if we're not careful. Regardless, Dr. Bennett says anytime you start to experience a reaction like these officers did here at the department on Tuesday. You have someone call 911 and if possible, wash your face. Uh, if you don't have water, use a cloth or a rag to try and wipe off your eyes, your nose, your mouth. The sooner you can get some of the toxic uh, materials away from your body is the less likely that it's going to spread any further. Stone's motive is unclear and Smyrna police would not provide a statement. We know that Stone has threatened first responders in the past. In fact, an indictment handed up last year sentenced him for showing up at Puckett EMS headquarters in Cobb County and threatening to blow them all up. And right now he should have still been on probation.